Okay, hey guys, uh, welcome to Let's Play playthrough of Lifeless Planet, full game. Um, it's, it's released today, actually a couple of minutes ago. And I'm gonna jump into this immediately. I'm gonna say thanks uh, to um, devs once again uh, for giving me opportunity to play early beta stage of this game. And at the same time I got full, uh, full release immediately as it was released so it's gonna give me opportunity to go through this game uh, as soon as we can so let's enjoy ignition sequence start five four three two one Well, we do have this cutscene. We didn't have it in beta stage. This is awesome. And we are landing somewhere. Okay, there we go. So I assume that we're gonna go through our very, very familiar beginning of this game, which we did like a couple times on my channel already. <clears throat> Where's my crew? So those logs, I'm not gonna read. Uh, you can read all on your own if you really wanna do that. I mean, I'm gonna read some of them, but not everyone. Not all of those, actually, in fact. So let's see, strafing, uh, it's not fixed, so we still can strafe properly, but that's not gonna be an issue. Because I can obviously explore even without strafing. Oh man, this was one of my most anticipated game, Mostly because I wanted to see full game, and that cutscene from beginning explains a lot already that it's really improved in fact so we're gonna see i'm gonna assume that big, uh, before actually that part uh, when we finish it better it's gonna be everything same without any changes changes whatsoever oxygen tank filled estimated eight hours remaining well that's enough So as I said, I assume I, I said that even at twice the speed of light, your journey will take fifteen years. That's right. We'll be traveling so fast our spacecraft will arrive at the planet before the transmission of this interview does. But it's still such a long trip. We'll be put into a sort of coma. Our heart rate will be slowed dramatically to minimize aging during the flight. How do you prepare for this one way mission, knowing you will never return to Earth? Well, I have a volunteer crew of very skilled and focused individuals. We all have a deep desire to explore, to go somewhere new. And frankly, we also have few attachments here on Earth. I don't know, to be honest, in confirmation, is my sound level fine? So, one second. I'm gonna turn uh, life Lifeless Planet to 66% because we don't have audio option. We don't as well. Oh God, we fell down. So I don't know. I don't know this part of the game very well. Hmm, I think that this cave wasn't here, but anyhow, I'm not gonna compare anything uh, from beta from now on because we are doing playthrough for first time, a full game. Everything about this mission is a disaster so far, the lander took a beating and we did most of the equipment. My suit is functional, but barely, the jetpack can still put out a single burst, which is useful for short jumps. Hard landing, <clears throat> my head is foggy, the sound of my breath, uh, poofing in my helmet is hollow and distant. 
crap and they need to do it before I run out of air. So one of the reasons why I'm not going to read every single log uh, loud is my voice because I'm going to lose voice in time and I'd, I already actually recorded for... Oh god, no! I already recorded for YouTube some stuff and I can't talk too much. Short explanation for new, for new viewers. Well, I have some sort of allergy. I don't even know, but I'm losing voice. Jetpack functional, hard landing, okay, that's so that's previous, no signs of life, I was following the truck while left behind by my crew, but got separated from their trail, hopefully I can make my way around. Yeah, I also have review of this game, at least in beta stage, on my channel, so if you're wondering about Official review, god damn it, and rating, you can check that anytime. Hmm. Yeah, we can actually push those so interaction in this game works. Really looking forward to uh, what they actually implemented later through the game. It's kind of weird, although you can't hold left click. You need to press, like literally. I need to get up there somehow. Is this even enough? Hope so. Oh come on! Really? There we go. There we go. One stone isn't going to prevent me from exploring this lifeless planet, which is not so lifeless. I like that. I love that sentence actually. It's perfect description of this game. So we do have some frogs here. There there's frogs. That are escaping from us. Mm, it's kind of shame. I I actually don't know if they changed a lot. Uh, playing through this area again actually can be fun, but if they didn't change anything whatsoever, it's shame that we didn't have our save points, checkpoints actually from beta. Oh well, God damn it! I don't remember this. Ah, we need to escape from that one. Can we? Nice. End of the world. Or beginning. It's a Russian book. And first signs that we are not alone on this on this planet. This is this was an epic moment for me. The town. This uh, area just looks so awesome from this point of view. Also, uh, they they made some nice optimization improvements in this game. I can see that because I'm streaming and I'm not getting. Uh, any FPS drops whatsoever. Uh, previously, I did even without streaming, so that's awesome. What is the point of all this? Okay, I need to stay calm. A strange discovery. For 15 years, I can't get cryo like a bag of forgotten frozen vegetables. That's what they said anyway. They planned. They played us real good with the story they spun. Another planet suitable for hous housing in human life. Can't believe I fell for it. Hmm. 
Let's stay calm, my head is still spinning from the crash. Okay, this... Yeah, this is oxygen. How is this possible? I don't know. I'm looking forward to find out, although. Maybe that trackway will lead me to my crew. Well, maybe. We're still following that. You kind of forget that while you're exploring the first couple of minutes of the game. We do have something here. Things they miss. Things they miss from home. Sheburashka? <laughs> Lighter music, babushka some over, medicine, fresh breed, milk, mummy. Auto translated from Russian. Yeah, most of the stuff we will have auto translated. Uh, not including some logs, although. Audio logs. Never actually find out can that kill us, but it's kind of scary, so just escape. There you are. Are you okay? Oh man, this is messed up. Listen, you're almost out of oxygen. I'm pretty low myself, but I'm gonna give you everything I can. I think there may be some air canisters in that town. Okay, you're gonna be all right now. Just hang in there, buddy. We'll figure this out together, all right? Whoa. Well, that was weird. Lab security code, part A. First half of code for access to Southern Laboratory, 331. Now, the thing is... Um, Hopefully this is not spoiler, but yeah, it's basically beta stage of the game anyhow. Um, when you play this uh, part uh, of uh, which was available in beta stage, you will need approximately 1 hour and 40 minutes. Now when I know what I need to do, I'm gonna need like 40 minutes. So hopefully that's not any sort of spoiler for you guys, but you know, I told that you should know about that. And I'm gonna say... Uh, from which point I don't know what's happening and what to explain or what to expect. So yeah. У меня нет слов, чтобы выразить свою гордость в связи с началом наших экспериментов здесь, в этом новом мире. Когда мне описывали зеленый огонь, это звучало неправдоподобно. Как будто из мультфильма. Я и не мог представить себе, что увижу такой красочный мир. Я просто ошеломлен его красотой. И теперь нам предстоит трудный... So for those audio logs, as you saw, I'm not gonna read because they want uh, original Russian uh, voice to be heard, even though I don't understand anything in Russian language. Let's clear that fact. But yeah, uh, basically, Russians won the space race. And they're gonna be now much more powerful. Second half of code for access to Saturn Laboratory 549. 331 549. Although we don't really need to remember that one. So now we need to find that laboratory. It's really, you know. Silent here. So there is a door there, but we have some graveyard here and some something is sh is shiny. So let's see. These <coughs> graves seem pretty makeshift, like they were in a hurry to bury the bodies. Well, I wonder why. How would anyone be in? Hurry to bury the bodies. <clears throat> I 
It's like that we're going in hell. <laughs> Middle of this, you know, nothing. Suddenly, we have a door. Uh, yeah, we have light. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna be enough visible on stream. And another bed. What will this one bring us? Nothing, perhaps? Hmm. Oh yeah, I like... I love this moment. This is so epic. Uh, there is no power in this area. Find a way to restore the electricity. This one is epic. I don't know, I just like that music. I know that it's uh, Russian thing, Athena, but you know, it's epic for those scenes. Hope that I'm not gonna get copy strike because of that. So he barricaded himself in a room alone. He was aware of that. It's so damn dark in this place. I bet I can make use of this. You can pick up useful objects with primary mouse button. Okay. Oh god, I do have a uh, gamepad connected. God damn it, I could could have played this with gamepad. Need to try that. See is is it any better? Because in games which are adventure games without like shooting and all those kind of stuff, I prefer gamepad actually. Even on PC. Nice. So the Russians found some kind of portal that transported them to this planet. And then and then things went terribly wrong. Huh. So 15 years for nothing. I ran my way into some sort of rich research facility, came across the skeletal remains of one form former lab worker. Documents nearby indicate the Russians built some sort of portal system that leads here, I'm, uh, though I'm still not certain where here is. Well, that's the most interesting part of this game. That is hospital. Which is pronounced the same way as in my country, by the way. Laboratory to two virus. This is now becoming a horror game with some virus and mutants all around. Well, those were some weird ass. Screams. <clears throat> and we have green trails. Aliens. Got to be. Great. I think my mind is playing tricks on me. The footprints glow green for reasons I can't explain. I took some samples but haven't had time to analyze. The footprint seems to lead out to the facility, so for now I'm going to follow them. But without but with caution actually.
Come on, you can do that. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna spoil anything even though I, when I know what I need to do. Sweet. Yeah, there we go. Wait. Does it works? Yeah, now works. Okay, we are on the other side. I found it this way is fastest way to travel actually. By using the jetpack. Yeah, there we go, that should be our exit. Hope so. God, that might hurt. Still following the trails. Hmm. Wait. Oh, there we go. No, this is the same place. Maybe from here? I doubt. No, we can't. Oh well. Am I really stuck here? <laughs> Wait, I need... Um, I'm, hmm, I'm missing something. No, we can't climb. Maybe I'm missing something at the beginning of this area. Might be. It's so damn dark. There we go. I actually missed this part. I will get to the abandoned mining operation. Still wondering why is that glowing green? Obvious explanation would be aliens, but again. And there we go, that should be out of these caves. <clears throat> Sincerely hope so. Yep, indeed. I need to stop telling that hope so. I'm hoping way too much. And first... Wow, building. That's kinda scary. When you think about it, you're on planet 15 years away from your Earth, 
and then suddenly you find small village with graveyards, uh, green uh, footsteps, huge ass building, electricity everywhere. Well, and someone is there. Hmm. I know. Can't copy that, but I think that she said because there are some similarities between between my language and Russian, and I think that she said that we shouldn't follow her. Now, maybe I'm wrong. But that's my assumption, and because of that, we're gonna follow her. <laughs> We can go there, but doesn't seem that there is anything. Oh, she's up there. And she's very like Tom Rider. <laughs> okay, there's some I don't know, some signals perhaps. It's weird. Okay, so far so good. Uh, we're not gonna be able to climb there. <clears throat> I think. Well, this is now weird. Okay, obviously we need to go for a map there. Yeah, that makes some sense. There we go, and now we have red lighting. It's not green anymore. Initial analysis indicates almondine or pure garnets in maker shade. I don't know how to pronounce it. Typical of minerals from deep underground at very high pressure. Uh huh. So that's coming out. Uh, from beneath the grounds, okay. That makes some sense. <laughs> 